In Helsingborg, Sweden, district cooling replaces traditional cooling. In offices and commercial buildings, internal chillers are replaced by a single external source. Fewer chillers means less refrigerants such as hydrofluorocarbons, a short-lived climate pollutant. Fewer chillers also means lower power consumption and less CO2. Instead, cooled water is pumped in underground pipes to customers. So exactly how is district cooling better? Our large-scale production of district cooling will be powered by heat. That's right, we will use heat to power our cooling machines. And that heat comes from, among others, the local industry here in Helsingborg. In addition, we will use cold seawater. It will, during summertime, be used as coolant in our production equipment and in wintertime be exchanged directly to district cooling. By using seawater and by powering our equipment with recycled heat, we are able to double our production of district cooling while significantly reduce emissions of short-lived climate pollutants and our overall carbon footprint. Helsingborg's district cooling is expected to eliminate the equivalent of about 1,200 tons of CO2. The expansion of district cooling in Helsingborg is the first step in a 5.5 million euro investment providing a comfortable indoor climate in offices, shops and other commercial buildings. On behalf of the city of Helsingborg, I would like to thank CCAC for the recognition of our work to reduce short-lived climate pollutants. It inspires us to continue the work we began 43 years ago when we started to replace fossil fuels with reducible heat from our local industry. Today, our carbon footprint per capita from heating is among the lowest in Europe. And with our district cooling expansion, we are now aiming to reduce the footprint from cooling as well. All in line with the city's vision to become a creative, vibrant, united, global and balanced city by 2035.